Israel sent tanks into Rafah in southern Gaza, seizing the border crossing with Egypt on Tuesday in an operation the United Nations said denied it access to the key humanitarian passage. The thrust into the eastern sector of Rafah, packed with displaced civilians, came as negotiators and mediators met in Cairo in another effort to forge a hostage release and truce in the seven-month war. An Egyptian stank leaked news outlet reported mediators from Qatar, the United States, and Egypt were meeting with a Hamas delegation. It later reported that all parties, including Israel, had agreed to resume talks. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke out on Tuesday against anti-Semitism in the United States, including on college campuses, Reuters correspondent Zachary Goldman reports. U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday warned that the threat of anti-Semitism is growing in remarks honoring the six million Jews killed in the Nazi Holocaust 80 years ago. That hatred was brought to life on October 7th in 2023 on a sacred Jewish holiday, the terrorist group Hamas least the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. And it stirred up dramatic protests on U.S. college campuses by students demanding an end to the Israeli assault. Some Jewish students have said the demonstrations have included harassment and anti-Semitic instances. Reuters correspondent Zachary Goldman. Families of Israelis being held hostage in Gaza questioned the timing of Israel's military operation in Rafah during a protest on Tuesday. If the only way to get the hostages back is by providing an Israeli guarantee to end this war, then end this war. Bring them back and save their lives. This is VOA News. Washington is redoubling efforts to disrupt migration routes that lead to the United States including charter flights to Central America. Top diplomat Antony Blinken said at regional talks on Tuesday, the Secretary of State is leading the U.S. delegation at a meeting in Guatemala of the Los Angeles Declaration on Migration and Protection, a cooperation framework agreed to at a summit in California in 2022. The United States has, quote, stepped up efforts against those preying on vulnerable migrants notably those flying people from Asia, Africa, and elsewhere to Central America, Blinken said. An American soldier remains in Russian custody after being arrested last week, AP correspondent Sagar Magani reports. The Army says Staff Sergeant Gordon Black is being held in a pretrial detention facility awaiting a hearing on theft charges. U.S. officials say Black was on leave from his station in South Korea and instead of flying to his home base in Texas, went to Russia to see his girlfriend. The Army confirms Black did not seek the required approval for international travel. Given the war in Ukraine and ongoing threats to U.S. personnel, it's highly unlikely Black would have been granted approval. Sagar Magani at the White House. Russian President Vladimir Putin is beginning his fifth term as Russian president more in control than ever. AP correspondent Rita Foley reports. Russian President Vladimir Putin used the first moments of his new fifth term in office to thank those he called the heroes of his war in Ukraine and a rail against the West. Last month, Putin suggested that a confrontation between NATO and Russia is possible. Today, he asked if the West would continue what he called a policy of aggression or look for cooperation and peace. Just before Putin's inauguration today, the widow of opposition leader Alexei Navalny released a video calling Putin a liar, a thief, and a murderer. The question now is what the 71-year-old Putin will do over the course of another six years in the Kremlin, both at home and abroad. I'm Rita Foley. Rescue workers reported on Tuesday making contact with 11 people under the rubble in a race to save dozens still unaccounted for after a building collapsed in the South African city of George, killing at least seven. 33 people have been pulled out of the debris of the five-story apartment block, which caved in Monday afternoon while under construction, municipal authorities said. Seven of those have died, the authority said, in George, 400 kilometers east of Cape Town.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.